Welcome, mates. I am Bloodthirsty Lord, by Human Lordy, and today we're playing a new game, and that is Once Human. This seems to be like a crazy like MMO with survival aspects to it. I'm unsure. I just want to find out through the gameplay, so we're jump into it right now. Hi to all the mates on stream, both on Twitch and on YouTube. Hopefully, everyone's doing very well and swell. Let's get into it. There's a bit of story, there's a bit of other things going on as well, especially kind of crazy. I wonder if the servers are actually on now, so this might be a full live stream. If not, it might be a stop. We may have to find out. Uh, North America servers are available only in EU. I think NA is close towards us, you know, as when it comes to latency. So I'll go for this. Let's see if it works. If it doesn't work, we just stream after. Well, I've got E for this, though. Have to accept something on my screen and then jump into it, hopefully. So I don't know if this is oh, true PvE and PvP at the same time, or depending on what world you choose, it, ch it changes. I'm not sure. But eventually, all roads reach their end. Our world is broken. Oh, right now this is beta. Uh, shooter. Fallen it's beta. Beta closed beta 3, I think it's classified as. Could be wrong. So it's not full released yet. I wonder if your progress does carry on because they make you sign up with an account and such. But everything is born from darkness. So I'm kind of hoping it. Even the universe, universe itself. But it takes again, maybe. I'm kind of disappointed in Texas right now. With the way the no. servers are and the lobbies. It? Just takes too long and I don't want to waste one hour minimum just to find one lobby. I can't the do it. spark of life still burns, and evolution forges a new way forward. Hey, Genji, Adam. Once your faith overcomes despair, once you move beyond death. Once life returns to this world. The voice acting isn't hitting it, like hitting home for me. The songs are pretty good here though. The music. I don't we mind it. Meet beyond that path. I've heard that this game is supposed to be like an MMO. I I'm going to compare it to most likely The Division. Because I feel like it's PvE. Mixed with PvP locations. I could be wrong about this, but that's what it feels like from what I've seen. But I haven't seen too much about it because I don't like ruining experiences. Like I just finished watching Invincible Season 2. But I could go look up what happens in the future and see all the spoilers about the future, but I don't do that. I do not do that because I hate that. I want to enjoy when it's out. Same thing with this game. Yeah, a bit of open world as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. These characters look weird. This guy looks like the the Joker's son, uh, the Joker's cousin. What was it called back in the old Gotham City show? Uh, I can't remember. I don't know. Which one should I go for? Type 2. Now now we're playing Stellar Blade. <laughs> I heard a lot about that game too. Well, this is kind of gnarly looking. The yellow uh, tattoo. That's pretty nasty. I like it. What is this? <laughs> Ice spice? <laughs> oh, God. I don't mind this. She looks like the... She looks like Jill. Valentine. Is that is that the right character from RE? She kind of looks like that. I'll go for that one. <laughs> well, is there more characters? Oh, there's more. Uh, faces, you change everything there. Hair, makeup. Kind of cool, this look, to be honest. What does it look like with white? Ah, maybe too much. Hey, a bit too much. Do like that. You can make a Goliath. Oh, no. It doesn't change as much as I thought it would. The height. Fitness. <laughs> Why is it max fitness? Is that width? So there has to be some type of transfer, uh, like, language barrier between these uh, languages. Because this game is from NetEase. It's usually international. 
Uh, light, hit tide. Static, what does that mean? It's maybe their postures when they're actually moving around. Head size, neck blink. Body paint. Wait, I don't see anything. Oh, I see, I see. That kind of reminds me of uh, I Am Legend. Like the blood markings. <laughs> it's just a hand there. <laughs> Why is that hand placement? <laughs> Okay, who thought the ad place was going to be right in the center like that? No one. That's kind of funny. I actually want to roll with this one. <laughs> Intensity. Oh, I see, I see. I'll keep like this. You can actually lay them too, which is kind of nice. But I'll keep one on. Don't mind it. Some type of badges. It kind of reminds me of Godzilla. So I'll put that on. Liquid nitrogen. Whoa, that was the weirdest trend. Hey, bye bye, you don't. 79 Celsius. Physical movement or brain function not detected. I'm not sure they're having open beta yet, but right now it's closed beta 3. Stable. I believe that's what it's classified as. Still stuck in the sheath. You just woke up? Trust me, I woke up not too long ago. Hey, Jesse Aiden. Full Emperor, of course. <laughs> Love it. I miss Warhammer. I don't know what to do. Can't wait for Space Spring, too. He's getting siphoned. And that's just a keyboard advertisement right there, because I saw a keyboard flying up. And see, you see a sponsor like Razor come up. <laughs> Played this game a while ago. It looks really good. I'm glad to hear that. They've added some more stuff in this beta, but I'm not sure what to agree because I didn't play that previous one. Prices. Yeah, I think it's three player co-op, if I'm not mistaken. Should be. Just such a great uh, synergy, the title. I hope they do have just like multiplayer intertwined in it or make a multiplayer standalone game. We could, we'll do PvP versus because that'd be fun. What am I looking at? So we're being. Looks like I've been hung up, but. Even like a tube or something. F to remove. That was should be looking. I had a dagger in me? Was that what I pulled out? No, not this game's Zeno. Uh, he's talking about Space Marine being uh, co op. This game's MMO. I'm pressing F for everything. Inject! Honestly, Octane makes you like injecting stuff into your body. Not real life in video games. <laughs> just the sound of the Octane stim when you're playing Apex Legends, like, and you start running fast, like, this is kind of fun. <laughs> don't consider real life, though. Don't consider it. Emergency kit. Uh, can, lunch. Oh, I'm going to use my mouse wheel for this? Please don't tell me I have to use my mouse wheel. My mouse wheel is bugged. I just press take all. Sprint. Jump animation. Something. Where's my food and energy? Ah, I see on the down bottom. I have one of these. Just eating through a mask. Legit. Enter the password to unlock the door. Okay. So let's see if there's anything else in case, like, a secret loot item. Like, what's on this guy? You can't loot them? The one thing I want to say... Wait, what's the password? 0728. The one thing I got to say is... The sound in this game is... Like, non-existent. There's no music, nothing. Just ambience. And stillness. Through a sound design. So I don't know if that's something preferable. Access card. Find the access card and enter... Okay. Maybe it's on someone? Oh, so just by searching like that, you get something. So we got an axe card now. Backpack is over here. 
I don't see the Axis card location, but I'm guessing it has its own location. There you go. You can't see all materials at once. In sectors. Is the official complete release or beta? Not beta. I said beta again. Continuation of beta. No content warning, but all my friends bailed me to get salt. Wait, on what? Which game just are you talking about? Oh, this game, really? Reminds me of two human. I don't know what that is. The Mad Max game. <laughs> the animation. That kind of reminds me of like any Battle Royale game, to be honest. Oh, the game content warning. Ah. Yeah, that game looks all right. I have it downloaded in my library as well. Oh, shit. Am I just stuck here? Okay, no. <laughs> what the hell is that? Well, it's good to see another face. I thought I was on my own. And you're a metahuman, too. I don't know who you are, but I do awaken the. Do you remember who? Let's you be honest. Are? Do we give a shit about the law? I don't give a shit about the law. It must have been that. You see my character spaz out with quick motions. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> I came to secure right now, though. But only if you help me complete my. All you have to. I'll be right here in the cradle. Now let's go. Okay. Oh shoot! Teleport. Oh, this is it talking about the, the time between two spaces, like the dark and the light time or some shit. Use the short key, a short key switches. Wait, how do I switch to weapons? Okay. I have to kill something. Space time? Wait, what? Oh, it's a sonar radar. It scans everything around around you. Do we have latency as well? Our world has been overrun with deviants ever since Starfall. Ordinary humans can't take high levels of Stardust as well. They end up just like but you're a metahuman. You should be fine. In fact, if the conditions are right. You might even be able to use Stardust to your advantage. So got a note out of that. Okay. Yeah, I don't understand what the hell's going on here. I'm not gonna lie. So these teleport to the thing right in front of me? No, it teleports to another thing that's the same color. Okay. Yeah, it's got a Death Stranding vibe to it, I'll say. Especially with the back, back looking like that. So we went through that one. Let's go through this one. There's a lot of buttons I'm pressing. I'll be honest. So many weird buttons like pressing N and H. Never press those in any video game ever in my life. But I'm gonna do it here. Now, with loot, we take everything until we find out what's shit and what's not. The the back part, uh, backpack does look at the pot from Death Stranding. I would say, most likely, it's a one-to-one -one copy. Just the way it is these days. It's classified as inspiration. <laughs> now we have Last of Us vibe. We went into that room with only a little bit of a light source. After image. Wait, let me see if there's any more loot. Did he come up with a scan? No, he didn't. Oh, it's out of the zone, so it has a set pro uh, proximity around you. It doesn't change when you're moving at the same time. You have to actually get to the next location before utilizing it. Okay, good to know. Let's see this after image.
Put me to a loading screen. Is this full release? No, just closed beta. Part three. The loading part seems to be witnessed once again, okay? Take space time to locate spatial theaters where events of people from the past may reappear. Hidden truths, okay. My name is Victor Hammond. What's your name? I don't know. I just know I'm a monster. My mom, my dad. This is kind of cool. I don't mind this. It was all my fault. Hey, hey. Try and stay calm. I'm here to help you. No one can help me. It would be better for everyone if I... My butterfly. It's flying. Yes. Your first invention. We need something powerful to challenge the evolutionists. So it was testing her. See if she's capable of doing something. This will be some sort. Mission. It's like experimentation on a child. I guess she found out at one point and then things went crazy. These are these all the butterflies? This must be all the butterflies. Hello, there's a random door there that would never be accessed at any point in the game. So why put a door there? <laughs> Such a weird game design sometimes. Oh shit! It's a big ass mouth. Wait, what? I got telekinesis? Wait a minute. Oh shit! Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm kind of liking this. Can I drop this? H. Drop it on the ground. Okay. I'm loving the surrealism to certain things. I think that's kind of cool. Yeah, it's actually intended to have doors like that. Ah, okay, it's part of the design. Yeah, I don't mind it. There was a detonation after impact as well, so two sets of explosions. There's always one more. The deviation. We found it. Reach out your left hand. See if you can feel the rhythm of it. Then try and secure it. Okay. It's like Dragon's Dogma. I got booty just sticking out. <laughs> I saw for a split second. <laughs> Trial only known game is from a design perspective. It's nice. I like it. The butterfly effect, like she's continuation of it, keeps happening. Possibly. Okay, what the hell is this? That that light source there, what that thing looks like, stands out so much more than everything else in this environment. It just looks weird. <laughs> yeah, requires voltage. Okay, so generate some sort. You enter the someone's some guy's territory, Victor. Okay. I'm tripping balls from this game already. It's so jumpy. I don't know what the hell's going on. V, you're still alive. Yes, and look what they were kind enough to activate the cradle and. Wait, my name is V. Is this Cyberpunk? Itsuko is a very. Oh, V's bird. Never mind. She can sense even the tiniest fault. It's thanks to her that I was able to take refuge in this place after. Yes, an emissary of. See that thing in the center of the room. What was that camera angle? <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see. Oh yes, this thing in the center of the room that just is here. Put the butterfly in there, okay. The butterfly is recovered. Deviant power 61 out of 100. You. It's going up. Facilitate withdrawal, attach wire. That was this shit. Check it out a second though. Deviations can be very dangerous if not taken care of. They can really. We're trying to. So why is a girl blindfold, uh, blindfolded? Why is that a thing? <laughs> why is why is that a thing in any capacity? No one's exactly. Wait, is my name Rosetta? Just that they're not. Is that my name's character's name? She has a name tag. 
When deviations get stressed, they release stardust. We think this brings okay. our world and rift space closer together. Like with Starfall, sometimes it becomes possible to pass between the two planes of existence. So the stardust you gain help helps happens, with the transition of two uh, planes. Some deviations are friendly, like the butterfly. But others, like the ones inside monoliths, are extremely dangerous. <laughs> it was idea. <laughs> It's not practical to secure. <laughs> Is that a JoJo reference? <laughs> oh shit! Shit! It must have gotten through. Come on, Meta. Take the butterfly with you. Take I love these games where you just skip through them. Everything feels weird in the basin. But it's only right. So let's withdraw this. It's already hundred capacity. Am I supposed to wire myself to it? It was meant to wire? I can't wire. Oh, I meant to synchronize it. There you go. You think I'm gonna read all this? I ain't written shit. Do it. Oh, it's already been attached. Oh, it's in my backpack. Look at that. So it might be the other type of butterflies that you see throughout the gameplay. And then it actually changes your ability of some sort. This might be the crafting section. The armor slots show the armor. You currently have equipped. Click to right, uh, click to switch them out. Okay. Do I have anything else? Like, why would it suggest that? I have nothing. Interesting system. Did I get any new gear to check out? I thought I got something, but I think it was this. It's already been attached. Yeah, that's my gear section. Okay, I see it. Cradle. There's some other two things. I don't know what they do. Blueprints. So you can build the legendary weapons if you want to, straight away. Possibly. Aren't sure how you can see the blueprint itself. So this is obtained from weapon box. Maybe it's like fragments you purchase or collect throughout the map. Mods, cosmetics. That's pretty cool. I love that one. That's just weird. That's a cool feature that allows you to customize everything to see what it looks like without having it on. You know, so you can make a, a full armor set that you like. And if you want to purchase it all at once, maybe you purchase it everything at once. That's so cool. That would be a, a, an amazing character. Look at that. That's vibey. That's already vibey. This is where we get a ranged weapon from. I don't know if we've actually got a ranged weapon there. A new jacket of some sort. I have to get some log as well. And mine some stone, gather and gravel. Okay. That's copper. Oh, it's the interac uh, interaction button. Okay. Yeah, and the game is becoming a little bit better. 
Like I'm telling you, the, the start is a bit slow and it doesn't really matter, but now you get into a survival mechanic like this, so I'm gonna start enjoying it. Cap will be here. Use a simple crafting bench in the campsite to make basic gear, tools, and dishes. Dishes? I'm cooking. What is this? A woman and I'm cooking? I can't believe this. <laughs> Good enough for veggies. I played around, by the way. Guys, <laughs> yeah, go over here. Uh, what do I do about this? I get this shit off my screen. I was just lagging. I pressed escape before, but I lagged out. Toggle between the tabs at the top to switch to crafting menus. Okay, so you got normal crafting menu, which has got bandages. Do I need this? Maybe. we just build one. Takes 10 seconds. Open crafting. Got a rusty crossbow, which we can't access. And also this. Is that logs? Actually, we can make this straight away. I believe I already had this at T1. I could be wrong. Wait, where's the pickaxe? Did anyone see the pickaxe there? They're yeah, just mass farming. <laughs> Make a sandwich. Possibly. Oh, there's extra uh, buffs there. Cook faster. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, this seems this promising already. Like, if you can just zone into the game and just farm and do all your stuff, it could be really fun. Now, my only issue is how long does it take to reach endgame in this type of game? Because I'm guessing it takes forever. I have a wild guess. Unless you pay for something. About 22, we need 25. It's like a capacity out, a weight capacity. There's no indicator that we're heavy, so I'll just keep farming. And what else do we need? We need more gravel. Enjoy, turtle. Enjoy, enjoy. This primary, yeah. I meant to click the bottom to actually pick him up. Crack down on attacking deviants. Okay. We're gathering until before we start collecting resources much faster than doing it by hand. Okay. Well, the supplies workbench, the more advanced tool. Okay. I already have one on me, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I do. It's already been equipped it on. Did it dive as well? Hey, tools help with housing. Who knew? I know, right? That metal's within rock. <laughs> I didn't find the other metals just in case. I don't want to see, like, too much weight. Oh, shit. Boss battle already? Tutorial boss? Kind of interesting idea to, to utilize the environment. Of stacking objects into the uh, diffusion of creatures. Like the light post and such. Kind of like that idea. 
Making you think that anything in your surroundings can change at any moment to be a creature. Oh shit! Okay, wait, well, that actually looks cool. Can I use these? I can't use this shit, can I? It's pushing forward. Arrows. Oh, that many arrows. Is that enough? I'm not seeing what's what it's doing. It's just chilling there. Butterfly attack. What's the butterfly doing? I thought the butterfly would do something, but. He did something with the spin. Siren head. Close up. We're pretty much exactly what it is. This is the most awkward fight I've ever played in the game. <laughs> oh, thank you. I killed that. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> Why is his loading screen? Go take it. So I've seen suit ain't me. That's for sure. The camera just wants to zoom into your cheeks. Wait. There you go. Watch me dive. Damn! <laughs> that was perfect angle. Look at it. Oh shit! <laughs> oh god. That's funny. <laughs> Damn, it escaped. Just driving it away was enough. You're tougher than you look. Yes. Also, I hate lagging in video games. It's actually kind of nauseating for me. From the dangers of the Any type of lag or latency or it, 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 like makes motion sickness world. happen, and I hate it. It wasn't a problem for me back in the past, the but I've played so many games of like so long, it's actually got to me. Like this is goodbye. Before you go. Summon V. So the, the bird, the cradle. Survival manual and camera. Okay. Take a photo of her? Why, why am I taking a photo of her? <laughs> okay. Uh, how do I control this? First person. Can I just take the photo? How do I take a photo? Take a photo. Save the album. Why? Uh, done? Yeah, we're done. What a weird mission. Oh shit, trippy. Was any of that real? We'll never find out. Oh shit. Is this game just full of doors and portals? Okay, there's too much cheeks. Like, what is that? The camera's literally pointing at the cheeks. Listen, 20 years after Starfall, Thank you, B. Is still infested with Stardust. It looks like the model Well, my bottom left of my screen's all chat. They might hold the key to all this Stardust pollution. There's so much chat the, Like, not my actual chat, the in-game chat. Wait, how do we go down? Stay forever. Where am I going to? Wait, am I just chucked into the deep end? Straight away? Find a civil location and press B to place territory, territory terminal. Okay. We're just straight into it. I will land. 
There. I like this fight. Go down, quicker. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, we here. We've got no as well. Let's set up a territory. Pulls the base of your ter uh, territory and defines the area in which you can build. I saw this in the other girl's house. You're freely con free to construct your home. Okay. Crafting, planning, sampling, and more. Okay. Cool. Let's place one. Can I place one here? Where's the marker? Nice work. I've managed to unlock some memetics from Mitsuko. If you access them through your cradle, you'll be able to craft and build what we need. I'm still trying to understand. So I have nine of those points. So I'm going to learn nine things. Let's confirm this. These just allow me to access more blueprints. Or more crafting options. Even with memetics, you still won't be able to craft anything out of thin air. We better gather some ore and logs. Well, what the hell am I supposed to build? Yeah, I got that as well. Hey. So cop big axe, there's crafting aspects, essential tools. Yeah, I actually don't know. We just we just play to what ends up happening. I like it landed in a place that has copper and gravel. That's pretty good. I needed that for the early spawn. Yeah, we have 250 ping. Jesus Christ. We'll also need a furnace and a disassembly village to process the materials we gather. Yeah, other people are having options with, uh, issues with the game, like not knowing what to do <laughs> in the game chat. That's hilarious. Hey, Sidarth, how are you doing? Hope you're doing very well. So I can't put my, uh, where's my, yeah, put him in there. So he's now weak. Yeah, he's recharging. Nice. From here. I need to press B. Structure mode. Okay. Open the build menu. Wood foundation. I don't think I need to build those. But I've got options. You know what? I'm actually confused. What the hell am I building? <laughs> what is the building stuff here? I clicked on walls, I didn't get any wall out of that. I think I've got something there. Did I put that the wrong way? I'm looking at the layering. I think I put that the wrong way. Ah, who gives shit? I can't change it now, can I? I don't think I changed that. I actually I put that the wrong way, because... With building, you would usually have that larger facet sticking outwards. The white part's the insulation. Or it looks like insulation, but it's not. It's like mimicking it. But it's a post, and it's wooden... Who gives shit? It's a wooden wall. Okay, I'm thinking about it too too far. Hit F on it to relocate it. Really? Ah. 
Wait, is the green arrow pointing outwards means outside or inside? Bruh. Let's be honest, it looks better like this. Oh, what the fuck? Hey! Get out of here! Skedaddle! It's my place. Try to tax my house, you see him? He's taking my resources. Do I kill him? Can I, can I kill people in this? Trying to hit me? You've left Toxic's territory. Wait, what? Why do you live so close, you bastard? Away from my house. I can't even shoot him when he's in my territory. What is this? I treat it like America. You're my territory. I bring a shotgun and I shoot you. Like, easy. Hey, it's my fucking. Still my tree. <laughs> oh, he's safe zone? I think so. Well, I have too many logs. I just realized I have 280. I found up pretty quickly. Uh, wolves. Ah, shit, do the same thing again. Put a door... ...somewhere. I can't tell where, because it's such an awkward sight. It chose it for me, randomly. <gasps> I'm scared. <laughs> why, why does it do that? The buttons are so weird and so close that you press anything and just lose everything. Just like that. Oh no, I can't even put anything here. My sights are always going to be open. Actually, maybe not. Can I even close this? Can I not enclose that at all? Yeah, a bit of an option, uh, issue here, sorry. What foundation? That's a bit silly. For them to give me this as my site, and it's actually stuck between the terrain, and I can't close it, it's a bit annoying. Let's be honest, does it even matter? We just not care about it? I try, it does work. The game works like a uh, systematic, so from foundation upwards. And I can't put anything attached to these walls to, to like create another wall here. And still have a gap on the below. You need some foundation. And the foundation doesn't go through there, because the system doesn't understand. Maybe it does. Let's see if it works now. Couldn't find the place before, but let's see. That works a bit better. Hey, that kind of works. Now, getting a foundation here is going to be near impossible. I feel like. Wait, did I just see it for a second? Did anyone see that? Damn, it's not impossible. Now I saw a foundation here. This ram sticking up. You know, that might work. <laughs> you gotta make do this bullshit. Oh god. No. Uh, maybe this one. I think we've got a workaround. But I don't have a doorway, by the way. I just realized there's no doorways. Game's funny like that. 
Gives us walls, but no doors. Use the furnace to refine raw materials into something more practical. We need it for advanced items. I need to get a couple of ing ingots first, so I gotta get through here first. Get the build menu. Charcoal. Uh, okay. Make this. Wait, can you just steal my materials? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. Uh, Sky, we did actually make a video on the channel talking about the DLC on TCM. Going through it, playing the map. The map is alright, I don't mind it. The other stuff associated to it though, the uh, Virginia character, she was alright. I don't think she's the best. And she was completely bugged in release. I don't know if that's still the case now, but I was very displeased. When a character comes out and it's completely bugged, not fun. Is there a weight limit of any sort? Also have like unread messages. No access to that. That's a cool outfit. What the hell? That's so cool. What is this stuff? I don't Wait, what am I building? Press being the ter uh, territory to enter the construction mode and build the disassembly, disassembly uh, branch. But why would I bench? Why I, why would I build that? I reckon disassemble stuff like instantaneously. I don't get it. Wait, where is it? Oh, I didn't build this. That's why. I thought I already built this. So I hovered over it earlier. I thought I already pre-built it. Nice. This is a strong foundation for us to build upon. The I'm buttons are really annoying. I'm be honest, they're really for annoying. Progress. For each task you complete, you'll unlock some supplies we can use. I'm the generous, uh, generous rank, yeah? So far, what we've got won't do oh much my god. Oh, it's coded in exiles. Need proper weapons and armor. There are some abandoned Rosetta facilities nearby. Maybe we could find some useful supply crates there. I've marked their locations on your map. What's well, classified as scrap? Not sure, but I have a jacket.
Uh, current goal mark is... Oh, I see. It's, I'm gonna be honest, concept-wise, very cool. Uh, honestly, because I'm lagging, it's a bit annoying, but other than that, it's a lot of buttons. A lot of things to remember, and I swear to God, I've, I've already forgotten half that shit I've learned. Like, half of it's already gone. I know there's, like, lights and stuff, but, like, such weird buttons to press. Wait, is that, wait, is that play hunting? <laughs> yeah, that play's hunting. And the deal's running off. <laughs> yeah, I think we're safe here for the moment. I see something blue there, though. Is blue good here? Does this mean loot? Could mean something. Can I run non-stop? Oh, scrap. I actually got something that was classified as scrap. That's nice. Oh, should we actually farming? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm getting excited now. So I got a new jacket. What was it? Did I get a new jacket? It was a cosmetic jacket. Am I being cosmetic? Uh, cosmetics. Body. No, it's not. Okay. Interesting. We'll find out more. We're fine. Oh, if you enter someone's base, it pops up their account as well. So you can actually look at their account if you want to. For whatever reason. <laughs> Jigsaw will be free. Armor. We need as much as possible can. But that's be cut out. <laughs> I'm playing around. Find the Rosetta supply boxes in the area. Find the Rosetta supply in the crate. Okay. Click a collection of six discarded items in the area. Football. I just like picking up random shit. Is that the idea? Yeah, it is just random stuff. Oh, I like seeing that. Look at that from another player. You can see the light source like that. As they're doing their own thing. It's kind of nice for a distance to see. You're not a player. <laughs> Guys, like praying or something. What was that? The game going really quiet. It's actually getting to me now. Oh, Jill Valentine. Hello, hello. Wait. That was this. Get your hands off my stuff. Why is it a cutscene for her doing nothing? <laughs> You're pretty cocky for someone who doesn't even have a weapon. Hold on. Interesting. I thought I was the only make. I'm Mary. I can't oh my to God. investigate <laughs> I can't keep focus. <laughs> Don't tell me you're going to try and take on a powerful deviation for a mayfly. I'm going to give you a blueprint. While you're doing that, once you're done... With the way they move me, skip own. stuff. It's hilarious. <laughs> so there was a message on the... Oh, they were post. So another mayfly survived, yet I can't remember her. <laughs> it's everything taking photos of it. My wife. <laughs> just to be safe. It's better not to share everything we know with that <laughs> Especially Everyone's on the same page. Okay, this game's good. It's rock solid, though. We can use it to make a... Oh, shit! 
Wait, wait. You see that full cam? Check your memetics and oh, shit. <laughs> These are real people, by the way. These, I got something in my <laughs> Oh, God. This game. Everyone's on the same page. Everyone's on the same page. That's crazy. Oh, I'm hungry, baby. Let me eat. I need a drink. Do you have water? Oh, that's my water. Oh god, that, that, that brought a tear to my eye. That was magnificent. <laughs> oh, we need space time. Wait, what? <laughs> it's, it's farming likes on the post. <laughs> Ah, no clue what we had to do there. Wait, what? what's up there? The game has parkour too, of course it does. Oh shit, that opened a chest! Wait a minute. Was that a secret chest? Hey, I got some good stuff. <laughs> oh. Uh, pray to Hunter Grounds update. What happened there? Did anything happen? I thought it was just a patch. Nothing substantial. That's what I thought, but not sure. I heard grunting from a nearby creature, but I can't see it. And I do wonder if certain tree types, if you get a collection of certain tree types, the material garnered from those trees, is it better? Is it different properties? So they have all different names and such. I wonder if you get anything out of them. This game has potential. I can tell you, if they have a better onboarding, like a better understanding of how to play the game from the very start, it could be stronger to make people not jump off. Like right now, this is pretty good. So there's a full house. See, that's what I wanted. Big patch. The disassembly bench will let you take objects. I can check it after and break something of interest into useful materials. So all this oh, I automatically does it. That's so nice. That's so good. But no, he got rid of my copper. Oh, that might be bad. He got rid of things that actually are useful to me. That's alright. Not an issue. We can access the crate from here. You can. Interesting. Now we gotta get the supply workbench. Uh, instead of here. That's the one. Actually, I'll lock everything over there. Probably one for the prayer to... Yeah, I agree. That might be the best way to do it. Get some mates in, play, have some fun, and just dip. That might be the case.
I see if I want to revisit some games. So I'm more interested about newer games more than anything. Or certain games that I'm playing like non-stop, like League of Legends and also uh, Rainbow Six Siege. I rather make content on those type of games. So I'm thinking it might be the case, but I'm unsure. Still thinking about it. Oh, I press the wrong button. I should have pressed the right button. <laughs> Let's go in here. This is my gear workbench. I need more copper. Uh, let's access the furnace. Alright, so the onboarding is not that bad. Obviously, timing's a bit annoying. How long it takes to do things. I feel like that's the case for this. See the Marvel's uh, Rivals trailer? I did. I did. I did. And everyone keeps saying Overwatch possible killer for Overwatch the game. Kill it off. There's possibility. Like I don't. I was playing a Marvel game that was on. I played two Marvel games actually. I actually kind of like them. There was a Marvel MOBA game on uh, mobile, which just wasn't that bad. And another mobile game called Marvel Snap, which is available on PC too. That game was actually kind of goaded. It's like a uh, Hearthstone from Blizzard. But a Marvel edition. That was actually really a lot of fun. It's like playing chess, you know? I was thinking, thinking about how to outplay your teammates, uh, the opponents in their game. I wish you did for a while. Look, I stopped playing Overwatch like ages ago. Oh, it's a diamond play too. Like a high tier player, and I was not even interested every piece in the game ever again. Then I tried it last time, it was like Overwatch 2. I jumped in, like a match 2. I'm like, wow, th this game's nothing. It's just boring. Wait, was I supposed to farm more cover? I looked at the thing, and then I started farming trees. Nah, I'm all good. I think we need 30. Overwatch sucks. Such a boring game. Honestly, maybe there might be a small community that still plays Overwatch like every day. I don't know how you can do it. Like mentally, I don't know how. It was like a burden playing that game. Oh, it shows when people enter your territory as well. Interesting. I wonder why it does that. Especially when you're not in a PP zone. Oh, look at that. Is that the sun? What is that redness there? See that? The orb above? That's pretty cool. Uh, it's always going to be McCree. I don't know what the other name was. Was it Cassidy or something? I don't know if they classified him anymore. It's always going to be McCree. I can't forget that name in that video game. This kind of gets me hopeful. You know, if there was a good thing. Uh, sorry, I should be farming this. That's Civil War. Can't farm it. If it was a good development team, making a game like this, based on an alien vs predator lore, would work out pretty well. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, like, the jungle effect here looks nice. Feels like I'm in the predator movies already. Now just incorporate other stuff. Maybe you just don't have to play as humans; you can play as other creatures, as the predator, as the alien. You know, and build up from there. 
And you play verticality of the map like aliens are underneath until they go above. To collect resources. Craters are within the trees. And there's a tree landscape. High levels of terrain. And mercenaries on the ground. Kind of fun. And the whole world's PvP. So anytime you're out of your natural land state. Like you have your sense of verticality. It's PvP. Kind of like it. So if a predator enters the alien place. It's PvP that can go there. that blueprint to make both guns and ammo if you want to make ammo though you'll need to do it at a synthesis bench what's the name over there what the hell's that i'll be like a base that i can't even see <laughs> imagine One eighty five, is that better than one I currently have? The above of the weapons do more damage by putting materials into it. Cool. I think it's a material cost though. Um what's the damage? It's 200. Why would I... Was that on two, two, uh, 225? Or was I mistaken? That one's 225. I'll go for it. That's 185. This is 285, but it's a big difference. Oh, is this segmentation of what it needs to put all together to make the armor? So you need more hide. It's just hide, isn't it? Let me see. Let me hunt something quickly. So I'll go into this game as Consecrator. I'm unsure how to get into it naturally, though. Because these days, I don't do too much research on how to get into things. <laughs> as much as I usually do. So I'm more like trying to see what the game offers just from a firm hand experience. But I'm really researching that capacity on how to get into it. I'm pretty sure there's a link on the main website. Like a pre-registration link. So where do I find deers? We're definitely going to have an issue of finding deers. Yeah, that's most likely the best way. Just rest the front. I was pretty sure they had like a thing. If you already played in the previous beta and you already registered and you already played through it, you could jump into this one and it would work instantaneously for you um, from the launcher. But I could be wrong about that. Yeah, he's got a deer over this facility.
Wait, why did he spawn? Did I press a button without realizing that forced him to spawn? So give me a second. As we farm this, I'm gonna check that Pro Hunter Grand's update. Um, let me see. Let's see if there's anything substantial there. So they're doing a considerable size patch this April. The focus is on player movement, fire team weapon rework, and balance. Which I've always said. The gameplay for bloody fire team sucks. It's actually dog shit. And it, there's no reason to play fire team. And it's only there to just get matches as the predator start up. That's the only reason. And then there's just a road map, uh, a road map announcement. Which means nothing. Until it's actually out. Like, Suicide Squad is such a... Such a letdown for longevity. Like I went once I played, I was like, "Yeah, this is kind of fun." I'm like, "It could be promising," and until we get to end game. Then I got to end game, and once I got to end game, I'm like, you know what? I have everything I need. I have a build that I like. I've done everything. I have no reason to play this game ever again because the three missions that you play at the end on repeat are awful. And who ever thought that was a good decision? To release a game with the end game that has three maps only, or sorry, three main missions only. That's all you can do is the worst thing you could have ever done. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, Jesse. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> so can I build this now? I can't even build that shit. I feel like I have everything though. Oh, do I have to craft them independently? That could be the case there. I think you do. Let me press craft here. It is. I need two copper. Oh, the enemies are awful. Who thought to make game design based on those enemies in Suicide Squad? With is the worst decision ever. Such a boring enemy type. To continuously verse. Wait, was I crafting this? Oh, it gives back your resources if you didn't craft it. Ah, I see. Interesting system. There was a price of 180. I don't know where that price was taken from. I couldn't see it. 180. Oh, top bar. I see it. Energy link. Used to buy common items and resources, explore the map, or complete daily tasks to obtain. So that's a... Softlock system. Unlock basic. Uh, get the MP7 formula. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's this one. Raid gear. Very cool. Pop a pistol ammo. That's what I need to cry, uh, create there. Go over here. Yeah, 
Yeah, the combat systems in Suicide Squad are really good. Like, they actually are somewhat enjoyable. Um, but the diversity of enemies, the limitations to missions, leads to it being a weak game. And you can really, ne like, you can't really create anything other than that. Like, Joker got released. I wasn't even interested in jumping into the game to play Joker at all. And then, because of the long duration from the day of launch until that point. Then alongside that, they had the audacity to pretty much put that as a level 30 reward in the battle pass, something like that. So you have to have to grind the game through those boring missions to even unlock Joker first, then to be able to grind further and play the character. Which I think was just a bad thing to do. Like, I get it keeps players retained for a bit longer before they get the character. But is that what you wanted to do? Like, really? Make your numbers look a bit decent? It's like, ah, oh, dude, this just, this hurts. It really does. Uh, ammo. Press it to this. Yeah, I haven't been interested in jumping season one. There was a sm uh, small uh, bump in the numbers. They were dropping down to like 700 players or 50, uh, 500 players. And it dropped that low from the 7k or 13k you had originally. And then it bounced up back to, I think, 2 or 3k on Steam. So it's like kind of decent for a live service game. Especially at their capacity of releasing content. Could be much better though. Honestly, right now it's like... Some games hit, some games don't. And it's like a really weird thing. I mean, right now. So I don't know. I think I'm like taking it, I should take a cleanse and not play any games for like a week or two. First Ascendant, that one I don't like. Oh, well, that's the next one game. This is the NetEase game. So, a bit of the same, you can say. But I do not like First Ascendant. The way the game has been advertised seems like a whole different game. And then when I played it, I'm like, this is awful. I did not enjoy it at all. This one here, though, I see more promise through. The concept, the design of it, the ideology of how things can move, and then the foundation of a survival game at heart, but has the capacity of being of an open-world MMO at the same time. And we haven't seen all the cool stuff yet. Like, we're still at the low levels, just grinding through the game. Like, there could be big boss battles, big events, big crazy things when you have to bring all the players to one area to fight the creature. It seems like it could be a lot of fun. It's maybe what I wanted from Helldivers 2. Uh, as an end goal, but this game has it as a starting goal. You know? It, uh, Earth Defense 4 6, I know which one. I re remember you tell me. Uh, Gundam Breaker. That was that. I've never heard of that one. Gundam Breaker 4. Is that good? I miss Gundam Evolution. That was a better Overwatch game, to be honest. That was really good. That was so fun. That was actually so good. I look at, I look at back now, just thinking about it. That was a fun game. But sadly, died out. How's that full of 76, but in terms of looter shooter, survival game? You know what? Yeah, I agree. I actually agree. I played full F uh, 76 for, I think, around 20 to 50 hours. It was after release, though, like way after. And I didn't mind it. Just, it came to a point when I, I think another game came out, I just stopped playing it. It happens to me a lot. I can't really stop myself from doing that. Still going for another minute. I'm most interested about. Dune Awakening. I think Dune Awakening could be it for me. Like, really, like, a fun game to play. And hopefully has a longevity to it. Has some crazy stuff going. I think that'd be amazing. You try Dragon's Dogma 2? Yes, I have, Saber. We have a couple live streams on the channel. On Twitch and on the main channel. Yeah, I wonder if... Wait, does anything save this game? If nothing carries on to full release, I might just skip all this stuff and just go roaming around. Hopefully someone can answer that at some point. I might have to do some research. So I'm part of one of the discords as well. So I could just talk to them and see that's the case. 
if nothing carries on, I might just dip and leave everything and try and join someone's high level base. If they've got a high level base, see all the cool stuff and just enjoy it. Oh, Drunk Doubles 2 is fun. It's a lot of fun. Fun right now these days is depending on what you want to fixate on the idea of fun, you know? If you're just playing a game for playing a game, you may not have fun. But if you're playing a game with the idea of finding fun, you will find fun. Let me create five of these. Wait, that's a lot of ammo. Oh, wee, 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 wee. Great, too. I realized how much ammo we had. I was like, wow, that's a lot. Imagine you don't keep anything? Yeah, I think so, too. Every game is fun with friends. Side client, I'll join you. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, I wonder what's going to happen in that game. Because it's going to be like Conan Exiles. Just Dune Awakening style. With more stuff. And more ambition. Did Mary do that? Whoever it was. We can use that to teleport straight there. Open your map and try it out. Activating teleportation towers will let us get places much faster. And avoid Wait, any dangers along the way. I just wanted to test it out. I don't have to test it out now, but it's good to know it's available. Wait, teleport's recommended? So I can teleport to that area already? I can't teleport to the area. Currently not in teleportation tower nearby, unable to teleport. Can I teleport while being close by to my base? Let's see. Or do I have to create a teleportation tower? No, I can actually teleport there. It cost me 47 points. Do you know if that's worth it? The new war bonds? I saw that too. There was a great launch pistol, grenade, uh, crossbow, thermite, all that stuff. I feel like it was like so soon. But maybe that's because I haven't played the game for like a month. <laughs> like properly played the game. I've only played for like a couple of hours. Yeah, these games will be coming out soon, as full release. I'm not sure when soon is, but hopefully soon. On new mail. Mary's back. Good. You made it. Uh, one of the liber liberators. It's yeah, a different AR. I this was the quickest way to. These towers are even supposed to. Either way. That they didn't change some of the hit re uh, uh, penetration for certain weapons to be medium now, from base primary weapons. So they they've kept things in mind from the community and they've actually put into the game. Just good idea. So L is a task button. That's crazy. Welcome back. Oh, this is a PvE server only. Ah. So join the wrong server for PvP. You know, this is like kind of a quick benchmark. See what everything's about. See anything you like. Wait, you're a mayfly. My name's Claire. I sent a team over to a. Maybe they ran off with the goods. Don't be so. I'm afraid. Also, I think that I'm a big fan of having like two camera angles only in All talking scenes. And having multiple know. camera angles Good while looking at the same person and it keeps flickering, just, uh... it's kind of trippy. Like, it puts me off. Also, I don't think if I get the new war bonds on April 11 in Helldive 2, I don't think I have enough medals to even purchase the weapons. 
and know the place for the first time through the unknown, unremembered gate. So that's kind of cool. Ah, a mayfly. <laughs> Why is that? Uh, uh, I'm explaining this. Just this play game. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. <laughs> Do you know about a deviation affecting this area? You've come to the right, <laughs> and as for you... Do you always speak in riddles like this? I was mute. Yeah, that was the level cap to 150. I heard that shit too. They, I think now, they said also your progression, if you'll pass level 50 at a uh, certain right. time, and you kept on playing, Rotten your progression would carry over with the to whatever the current level is now. The Rotten Man so you save your level 50, you become a level 60. We just log right in. Again. Could be wrong though. I haven't checked. I'm looking for. And by the way, I wouldn't mind adding another deviation to my collection. In fact, I'd reward you handsomely for it. Yeah, I think that max metal amount at 250 is by purpose. So it forces you to play the game. Now that we know what to do, I'll find a way to hack into the monolith. Once you've activated the rift anchors. Just don't forget to bring. Oh, and one more thing. I have a motorcycle here. Oh shit! Going by motorcycle. We need to level 82 immediately. Nice. But there's so many things. Wait. Oh yeah. This looks. Oh, like into my storage. Right. <laughs> that shit's funny. So logged in, it was level 130. That's nuts. I do think that's kind of respectful. They they put that into the system. But that is just nuts. Like being plateaued at level and keep on playing is crazy to me. And you, you'll pay precisely. You just have to go. Especially if you think about it, level 130. We're level 50s. If I log in, maybe level 60, 70, possibly level 70. I'm gonna say level 60 though. Even then, I feel like I didn't put that much time into it. You know, for like it was 100 plus hours. The guy that's level 130 put like nearly 500 hours into the game. And 500 hours in Helldive 2 and nothing changes? That's actually insane. Like the only thing you're doing there is having fun. But to what degree can you be having fun for 500 hours on a game when the, the loop is always the same? Because you know when you play like Texas Chainsaw Massacre or Dead by Daylight, there's always different interactions. Which keeps the game always interesting between players. But being a PvE type of game, it doesn't really change as much. Level 802 melee to 200 hours. So that, that guy must be 500 hours. So it's pretty accurate. Be 130. Why does the bird come out? I don't get that. Oh, it's actually talking to me. But I don't hear it. So I went to craft some stuff at the workbench. A little after. Wait, am I going back to base? Press G to use vehicle. Wait, what? Hey, we're gaming. set up a campsite before rushing into the run manor. That way we can recover more quickly if anything goes wrong. So how do I build this campsite? Am I in the area already? That's over there. How do I get my things to come back? I'm still learning. Campsite, campsite, campsite. Hmm.
So how do I build a campsite? Wait, he demolished other people's camps? Make that. I'm actually so confused. Press B. I can't move territory because that wouldn't work. How do I just make a campsite? Copy. Oh, that works. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, there's vehicles. This game's kind of goaded. That despawned right. Oh, no, it didn't despawn. Can't quick switch? Oh, I can. There you go. I think we found Claire's guns. What? My butterfly. He's in enhanced my auto attack. Was actually fighting. I see it over there. I might need a better transition, but I think it was I'm lagging. That's easy. Well done. I've noticed some other strange stars and readings elsewhere. Quite similar to what we encountered here. I've marked their locations. Hopefully we'll find the other rift anchors there. Wait, what? That's pretty cool. It's like a boss event that can activate like a bigger challenge where you can access more stuff. By collecting all the rift anchors. I'll go to each one. Also, I think I should have made more ammo. Not gonna lie. I don't see any other beams of purple light here, so I can't be here. It did say it actually marked them on the map, didn't it? Is that it there? Oh, you can collect materials from that far. That's pretty cool. All I have to do is look at it. Not really walk up to it. I'm not sure. The yellow marker was down there. Defeat three, uh, so two more normal enemies and look for a mythical crate. So I'm still looking for another item here.
this it? This can't be it. Oh, it's not it. That's it. That's definitely it. So a new pistol ready. I wonder that pistol is ready better than my current weapon. Oh, it might have been a blueprint for, uh, for a pistol. But we don't have access to it yet. With mid attacks, this is better. This has a passive as well. Adding fuel to this. Do we even have fuel available? Utilize. Kind of feels like the walking dead a bit. I thought it was my bike there. Where's my other marker? There was another marker here. Explore the wetlands, settlement, and lock enough rift anchors. It shows the rift anchor here, but it's not here. Bit of flying squids. Oh, I see more of the purple lights, though, from afar. What the hell is that? Oh, I don't want to deal with that. Get off, get off. What was that? I do actually have an MP7. Oh, I heard someone. Definitely did. <laughs> Same amount of damage, 201. Actually, this does less. 201 is the weapon rating. Just keep it as a pistol then. Wait, when I was driving, did we see another purple light? I saw two purple lights, not just one. Where's the second light source? It's down there. Some weird Godzilla thing. Now yeah, I see the purple light down there. I couldn't see it when I was walking around. But the view distance changes when you're on a bike or not. There's another mythical weapon over here. Well, he's doing some weird quest.
I do like the game feels lively. Like if you played Fallout 76, the game feels like a dead place. So if you play this game, it feels nice. And it's alive. You go to different areas, there's people doing other things. It's kind of cool. It's not NPCs. It's just like actual real plays. What the hell was that? Weird scarecrow attacking me. Yeah, it is. It's a fake scarecrow, but you get close to it, it goes into the attack range. Pretty neat. Last suit. Blue, uh, blueprint? Fragments? Or was it the actual suit itself? New specialization effects. Which is this? Did you just die? <laughs> they take a lot of full damage. I can get up there. I feel like I can't get up there, you know. Please, no, I definitely went the wrong way. Please, can you help me? No, nah, bad luck, dude. You. I'm wounded. Oh shit. Oh, it was actually special executions too. 
Nice is nice. Those just ending kills, but you can do it as an entry through a backstab. Was that game day before? This feels like a better day before. <laughs> like an actual game that has everything it's supposed to have. Running after me. Hey, Zay, how you doing? I'm getting chased, but she'll be alright. Okay, into the wrong area. It's still going up. Oh, I actually did into the right area. Never mind. So no weapon crates though. I think you can fly, man. That cost me a bit. I found the weapon crate, sadly. Oh, never mind, found one. There's supposed to be one more crate.
Interesting. Sorry, I said it does damage. My issue is now, I don't see what the other points are. Now I can't tell which one I activated. There's like five of them there on the map. When it's green, it's activated? I don't know. Oh, I think it's this, like these five nodes. Done this, we entered, we did this, then we did this, it's over there. They're trying to kill me, by the way. What is this quest? What? How's that work? Ah, uh, it's based on my camera perspective. It's nice that it's very intuitive. Oh shit. Run away from this thing.
This kind of reminds me of the Redfall monsters a bit. You know, the Redfall vampires had like a bit of a color to them. Seems the same way here. Oh shit, big dude. I want to find the mythical crate. This is pretty good. I think it's a large building, usually. You can drink this water. I think that's safe. I thought this building would be much larger where I can go go somewhere, but I don't think I can go anywhere. There's one's flying up in the sky, that's freaky. Well done. Oh, it sucks that you can't jump out of windows like that. Or stagnant objects. You know what? I know what the game feels like now. I can tell you it feels like DayZ. Yeah, better DayZ. I think that's what it is. Yeah, PUBG DayZ, like hybrid. That's like an overall demo. You know, but DayZ is pretty large in its maps. It's kind of like that. Oh, I would have been there. It doesn't matter. Ah, oh, shit. Nice work with the rift I Sounds tough. Each time a rift anchor was activated. The Let's go in together this time. I brought some ammo.
That's not bad for now. Then we chill there. Uh, the game is a hybrid of Daisy meets uh, bloody every other game I've ever played in my life. That's what it feels like. The pacing's a bit slow. I would say. Like, even though the building was pretty fast and getting equipment is fast, getting around the map is slow. Which is kind of good and kind of bad. Some players like to have that experience where they can go through a map slowly and be able to go through everything and find pieces of loot that could be obtainable and could lead to better gameplay. But in a game where you can find loot everywhere, it doesn't really matter as much. So, it kind of gets a bit annoying. Other than that, it just feels like a fun game. I wish there was no latency. Like, I absolutely wish there was no latency. And I don't know if anything carries on, so it feels like it's kind of like a waste time at the same time. When you try to play test the game and have fun. It's like, oh look, if I play now and put too much time into it, nothing carries on. And it kind of gets annoying. From a gamer's perspective. But other than that, it looks like it has a high influx of players. Like, I'm telling you, there's a lot of people playing this game because there's questions on the bottom left. Like, where do I get gravel? Are things that people don't know how to do. That means they just jumped into the game. That's kind of cool to see. There's a lot of people playing this game and trying to give it a go and see if it's up for their liking. I do think this fills in the gap before uh, before the other game came out, days before. Or the day before, what it was called. That game there, that was trying to find a gap in the market. And this kind of meets that gap and actually fulfills that promise of being a massive MMO. Where you see other players, they're doing their own missions, you're doing your missions, getting levels, getting experience, going from your mission to mission, doing all the other shit, getting your loot, getting better and better, getting stronger and stronger by the end of it. And accessing more cool loot they can use in what raids or big boss events that happen in this game. Right now, we don't know what that, that is, unless I go look up some other gameplay from the last beta. Maybe that might be, be a good idea to see what this longevity is for this game, so we have something to aim for. But right now, it looks like a lot of fun. And if you have never given this game a go, I would suggest giving it a go. Just sign up to the website and hopefully get a link to be able to play it through the registration of the beta. And if not, hopefully they have another beta or open beta to make it more easily accessible, or something in that way. But I do want to check the numbers on this game. If there's even a possibility of doing it, I would love to know. So I feel like this game is going to be pulling some crazy numbers. That's for sure. That's going to be my time for today. If you did enjoy that. As always, mates, it's been a pleasure. And I'll catch you, mates, next time. Bye-bye.